So is August L. Cena getting ready to show Tory Lane a new thing? Hey guys, thanks so much for clicking on the video. Listen, welcome to Kitchen Table Talk Live with Spiller Boy TV. This, this little situation is very, very interesting. Very interesting, a whole bunch of moving parts. And I think there's more to come. I definitely think there's more to come. August, y'all know, I, I love August, I'll see now. Um, the talent. Um, August is a little different. It is he 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 handles things a little bit different, but he's not a dummy. Okay. So what I meant by is he get ready to show Tory Lanez a new thing? I think that that's actually what's going to go on. This is just my feelings. So I'm going to put out my feelings about what's going down and what's actually to come. And then I want you all to comment and let me know what you all think. But this is what Spill It Boy TV kind of sees coming down the pike. Okay, so there was this whole event and Tory Lanez was there and August L. Cena was there. So uh, in the midst of everything going on, Tory Lanez, it's real simple. Tory Lanez spoke to August L. Cena. August L. Cena paid him dust. <laughs> okay, he gave him very, mm, psh, get on. Paid him dust. Very, very reminiscent of the Aretha Franklin, Patti LaBelle situation at the White House. Do you all remember that? Yeah, I think that was down at the White House. But that little Aretha Patti thing where Patti was reaching to touch Aretha and Aretha gave, girl, this thing, don't you dare. And went on. And I, I think that we're August he wasn't ready. He wasn't ready. Because August, I think, expected the, the shade he threw to actually be handled exactly the same way as the Aretha Patty shade. And then stuff went around, you know, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, you know, about what had happened. You know, of course, I see their social media blew it way, way up. And Patty and Aretha is like, mm, then Aretha passed. And Patty's like, oh, no, oh, there's no issue. We knew there was an issue. We sat there and seen you two. We watched it. We saw it, honey. There's, there was no mistake in what actually happened there. It was given very, <clears throat> it, you couldn't even miss it. Same thing with this. It was complete shade, complete shade. And in the midst of all of it, uh, Tory Lanez didn't respond the exact same way as Patti LaBelle responded to Aretha. Tory Lanez didn't like it, and he ended up going all the way. You, come in close. He went all the way upside August's head. All the way upside August's head. Now, that's why I say August wasn't ready, because you didn't know that he would go all the way upside your head because of various reasons. One, who we are as people, you two. You know, we we are public figures. So, you know, if you put your hands on me, you could lose everything. Putting your hands on me at an event such as this, where everybody could see it. You put your hands on me, you could lose everything. The fact that you know that I have medical issues. Everybody knows that August Elsina has medical issues. You be a damn fool to go and literally jump on August Elsina because he already has like immune deficient an immune deficiency disease and and various other things. And it's public knowledge. It's public knowledge. You grab and bang on August the wrong way and August leave up out of here. Now you got a body. And you how, how are you going to fight it back? Because it's public knowledge that he's not well. So all these things, 
I'm sure August, he, did, he wasn't ready because he didn't feel like he needed to be ready because, you know, I mean, who would, who's going to put their hands on August? That's just kind of the way it is. It's like a, a, a career suicide to go and, and go upside August's head, really. And we won't even talk about the court of public opinion. Like, seriously, Tory Lanez, you jumped on him. Why? Because he's sickly. You jumped on him. Why? Like, what, what, why was you so angry? He didn't speak to you. So, you know, you're going to lose in the court of public opinion. But here's the thing. Tory Lanez wasn't thinking of it the same way August does. And this is the mistake that people make a lot of times. You think that because that's the way you conduct yourself like a responsible adult, that everybody conducts themselves as a, a responsible adult. Are you serious? We see it in the Walmarts and different things and in the Waffle Houses on videos all the time. Everybody doesn't conduct themselves like that. Some people actually have nothing to lose. Some people just don't give a shit about losing what they have. And if you run across one of those people, you could end up in a situation like this where August and somebody go completely upside your head and you not ready and you shock like I can't believe you just did that. Yeah, he just did it. But listen to this. This is this is where this is where I say August. I feel as though and there was no fight back and forth. That was it. He went upside August's head in the story. And I think all of that was by design. I think August got himself on just that fast. He wasn't ready. He got his mouth all busted up and all that mean towards his ass mouth all busted and everything, but I think August stayed with his wits about him like, oh, this is what we doing? No problem. You won the second round, because see, August won the first round when he paid Tory Lanez dust and then Tory Lanez got upset. That was one for August. When Tory Lanez went upside August's head, that was one for Tory. But there's only going to be three rounds in this thing. And I think, I think personally, it's just my feelings, that the third round is going to be all August ass and elbows, okay? I think he's getting ready to go completely upside Tory Lane's head, but in a new way, going to show you a new thing. He's going to go all the way upside your head, Tory Lane's, and it's a new way, the right way. This is what I want y'all to pay attention to. Check this out. This was a post that August Elsina made, okay, about the situation. And I want you to pay very close attention to the verbiage that's being used here. August put on his Instagram, okay, shows, for, here we go, get the public in your, in your pocket. He shows a picture of himself sit, standing, his little cute self up there in this elevator, just looking, you know, really worn out and really tired and blood everywhere. Like he's just busted up. Like it's just terrible, terrible, terrible. Looked like a scene from a vampire movie the way his mouth was all bloody. Okay. And that's the picture for Instagram because you know Instagram's all about pictures. And then he goes on, he says, this is right off of August L. Cena's Instagram. It says, as I'm exiting the building after the show last night, a 411 size leprechaun ran down on me with eight oversized security whom I greeted each individually upon their walk up as they tried to press me. Whole time, I'm one deep, no security. Tori continues to ask with a broken ego, why didn't I dap him up? I go on to tell him I was a fan of him and didn't understand him speaking on my business publicly in the past because I don't know him or ever met him until last night. So when he spoke it, caught me off guard because of the past actions. I assumed he didn't like me, that's all. Not to mention with my history of health and condition, just recently overcoming being paralyzed, my doctor directed me not to compromise my health while out on the road and shake as least hands as possible due to corona and monkeypox. 
Never any disrespectful words, words change. So I was a bit confused at how someone, he turned himself up with anger after hitting a blunt lace with cocaine, obviously. I heard a little fizzle. And he snuck me when I turned my head to move to the side amongst all his antsy moving and to keep an eye on the endless necklace that was with him surrounding me, which was security and some necklace with a gun tucked, okay? Whom he then proceeded to run behind and had to run back in the building. There was never a fight, simply an assault. Dude has no real friends and is on a crash out mission. With that said, I was going to keep it G and not come to the net, but you moving with foul intent, feeding uh, false falsities to blogs to look for a moment because them moments ain't happening for you on stage. I will assist you in that gracefully. His people got the whole thing on camera, put the footage out. I'd like to see it anyway. Let me go clean this blood off my face with some Asena wellness. Okay, listen here. You hear that verbiage? Do you hear that verb? That verbiage says this. How dare he? How dare he? This wasn't even about all that. Then he literally explained away the shade that he threw that actually kind of made this get started. He explained it the way my doctor told me not to be shaking hands and things. So, I, you know, it was in my best interest not to be shaking people's hands. No one, fans or other celebrities. So you explained your part of it all the way away. And then, oh, he threw right in it. You know I'm sick. Why would you do that when you know I'm sick? You 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 hit you put your hands on me. Putting your hands on me and you know I'm sick, you intended to hurt me. And then more on, you know, he's all he's angry. This is kind of what he does. You know, when they throw that out, that actually leads you right back to the whole thing with Tori and Megan the Stallion. That's not even settled. That's still going on. OK, then he goes on and where he says there was no fight, simply an assault. And he capitalized assault. I never hit him back. I never hit him back. I never put my hands on you. You put your hands on me. You completely violated me. And I didn't even respond. Then you got all these other people who are all now accomplices and you coming to hurt me. And the way that y'all rolled up on me was like they knew that you came to hurt me. So now I'll just, it'll be a roundhouse kick. Everybody going to get a little bit. And then your people, your people violated me again by publicly humiliating me and putting it on the internet. More damages. Made sure I got to go clean this blood off my face. It's so much that I literally have to clean it off my face. That's how much you mess me up. And then right here is the threat. But, you know, it's not a physical threat. It's pretty much a promise. Um, I will assist you gracefully in destroying yourself, your career and, and your, your, your livelihood. I will assist you in that gracefully, which is nice way for saying, I'm going to sue the shit out of you. I think August is getting ready to literally show Tory Lanez how to win the fight and the war the legal way i think he's going to tear tory lane's behind up 
with some lawsuits. And it ain't going to go on as long as this stuff going on with Meg. With the Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Oh, maybe it shouldn't be. Oh, I didn't, I did, I didn't. It ain't going to be that. It's going to be all, all Elsina as it elbows. He's getting ready to light Tory Lanez up down to the courthouse. This is what I see. This is what I think is getting ready to go on. I really, really do. I think he's getting ready to tear him up. And everything really seemed to stem back to some things that Tory Langs had to say about that entanglement. August didn't appreciate what he said. And Tory said it and paid no mind. It was like, I said it. Everybody else was saying stuff and thought no more about it. But when he ran in August, August gave him, child, do you? I heard what you said, and I don't do you. That was it. And Tory is volatile. He is a volatile personality. He's proven it time and time again. That little personality of his and that little volatile behavior has gotten him into lots of trouble. And this is one more. But I think August get ready to show him how to really do it. He get ready to show him a new thing. He going to show him a new two-step. Mm -hmm. I think he going to show you something, Tory. And I don't think you're going to like it. Listen, listen, I told you. And this is all my thoughts on what's getting ready to happen next. I would love to hear what you guys have to say. Please, by all means, take a minute out and drop down there in those comments and type me up some stuff. I want to talk to you back and forth. We will talk in the comments. I want to hear what you got to say. What do you all think is getting ready to happen next? Baby, I think I'm going to show my new thing. I'm going to show my new thing. I'm going to show you how to do it, baby. What you say? Listen, I'll catch y'all around on, you yeah, know, um, catch you before court. <laughs> catch you after court. Let, I'm clowning now. Listen, get down there. Type what you think is going to happen next. Let me know, and I'll talk to y'all shortly. And, and, and. Feel like